It's not just that corporate personhood and Citizens United place our democracy up for sale to the highest bidder. It is a slap in the face to what it means to be human. Yes. And what I find offensive about the whole idea isn't just that corporations have been raised to the level of human beings, but that the miracle of human existence has been reduced in stature to the level of corporations. Yeah. Yeah. And for me, this is the real point, the real sign of our times that we must resist at every turn. It is the dehumanization of our society. Yeah. Because this country was not founded to serve corporations. This country was founded on the idea that the most important element in our society, the most fundamental component, the sacred thing which must never be violated, are the people. Yeah. Yeah. It are the human beings that matter. We are what matter most, not the corporations, not the government, and not the representatives. It seems, it seems obvious, doesn't it? Yeah. But we have to say it again and again and again until we get it right once and for all. Because America is not a business. America is our home! And homes are meant for people. So it is not just our country that is under attack, but our home that is under attack, and we will defend it. That's right! We all know the cliches. We have money for wars, but not for education. We have money for tax breaks to billionaires, but not for Social Security. We've got money for corporate welfare, but not for health care. We spent $4 billion on presidential campaigns, but not one single federal dollar on publicly funded elections. We give billions of dollars in subsidies to oil companies already drenched in cash, while one in four children go to bed hungry in this country. This is not a matter of misplaced priorities. This is a crime. And the list goes on and on. And we all know the reason for this. Corporate rule. Corporations are not human, and if they were human, like Rich said, they would be sociopaths. <laughs> Incapable of caring, or love, or empathy, or remorse, or any of the qualities that make human relationships on this planet possible. Corporations are the inhumans. They are the undead. And they have seized control of our democracy. They are extracting the wealth of our nation. They are sucking the lifeblood of our people. And I say, it is time for the human beings to take it back. Because this country needs more than just an anti-corporate personhood movement. We need a humanity movement so big and so powerful and so unassailable that it will rip the roof off the Capitol building and send these corporate cronies back into the holes where they came from. And that means that we've got to wake up. We've got to remember who and what we really are. We are human beings, each and every one of us, with unlimited power. And this is what really frightens the oligarchs the most. The idea that one day we will remember, wake up and remember that the power isn't out there somewhere in Washington. That it's right here. With you, and with you, and with you, and with you. 
and with me. Because we are the power, because we are the people, and once enough of us recognizes it, there is no power on earth that stops us. Now I hear a lot of folks saying in this movement, it's going to take time to build it, and I get it, and patience is not one of my virtues. But I am also tired of waiting for justice. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I don't want just a little bit, I want it all. Yeah. And I don't want it soon, I want it right now. Because this must be our moment in history. Because I don't know about you, but I'm mad as hell. And I'm not going to take it anymore. So let's do it with me. You all know the line. I'm mad as hell, and I'm not going to take it anymore. On three, let's all do it together. It feels really good. And let's make sure they hear us in Washington. I'm mad as hell. Father said to Corporate Joe, you need a charter to handle that dough. The public decides what direction you go. The power you wield must be under control. Yeah, but Corporate Joe says, hey, I'm just a person now, so... In 1886, the gavel for a gun, court shot up. Main Street 61. Oh, and that's you. 